Hello, and welcome to the Phantom 4 RTK Tutorials. In this video, we'll teach you how to use Network RTK. Get your Phantom 4 RTK ready and practice alongside us. You need to prepare a Phantom 4 RTK unit, a 4G SIM card, a Phantom 4 RTK remote controller, and several charged batteries. Begin by inserting the 4G SIM card into your remote controller. Power the RC on. Tap to launch the DJI GS RTK app. Enter the menu bar on the left. Click the settings icon and then select network diagnosis to make sure the network is functioning properly. Please follow the steps to activate your service. Return to the GS RTK app's main screen and select Fly at the bottom left of the app. This will show a direct camera view from the Phantom 4 RTK. Tap on the three dots in the top right corner to enter the settings menu. Select RTK on the list of settings menus and make sure the RTK function is turned on. Select Custom Network RTK under the RTK signal method. You can connect to your desired network by entering the corresponding server, port, account username, and password. Once entered, the confirmation process will begin. If the remote controller successfully connected to your network, the message, Network RTK Server Connection Successful, will appear on the top left of the screen. Returning to the camera view, you can similarly confirm that it is working by checking the RTK icon next to the satellite number indicator. The icon will start off as red, but will turn white 30 seconds after being activated. If the icon continues to stay red, please review the process and see if any information was input incorrectly. Once the home point is recorded, you are ready to fly. No additional setup required. Once you're connected, the home point will record and you can start your mission. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more Phantom 4 RTK tutorials.